Um, Tell me about Vegas. I want to hear, dude. I'm dude, you went to Grateful Dead too. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dead and Co. Dead and Co. Sorry. The Grateful Dead and Co. Co. Yeah, the Dead and Company. Yeah, I went uh, b- 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 a couple weeks ago. I went like three weeks ago. I don't know. Adam Ray and I went uh, with our ladies and we- uh, He's crushing it. Dude, I'm so proud of the kid. I know. It's awesome. Yeah, we went and had a, such a good time. It was also like a last minute. We were chatting. Sal Volcano came in. We had dinner. Adam and I were talking about doing it. Um, and John Mayer, who's a sweetheart, was like, whatever you guys want. Like, you want tickets or what do you need? And I was like, I don't think we can make it through this last, super last minute. And then in the morning, we woke up and I was like, all right, we'll go. You know what I mean? We just were like, we got to do it. Like, it, it, it's a 35-minute flight to Vegas. I was like, yeah. we got to go. And we had an absolute amazing time. Man. I, it's, it is one of the greatest visual and audio shows I've seen in my lifetime. The Sphere is, I mean, it's its worth every single dime they they overspent on it. Yeah. And they're losing money. I think they're hemorrhaging money, that place. Yeah, that's what it says. I know that um, the, to build the the uh the crane alone that they used to build the sphere and uh check me on this but it there was like it took a hundred trucks just to bring the stuff the crane is made out of it was like the fourth biggest crane in the world oh i think God. it's from belgium or berlin um well i, ho- I mean berlin it, it took that many uh trucks just to bring the pieces of the crane and then it took a couple of weeks to put the crane together 87, 875,000 square feet of space that's in the venue. Um, Man. Oh, yeah, COVID delayed it. I remember that. And U2 was number one. U2 started. Who's there now? The Eagles are coming. Something like that, Eagles right? are coming. Yeah, Eagles are about to do it. Yeah. Wait, tell me, though. Did you love, did you really enjoy the show? And have you been a Dead fan? Have you? Do you like the Dead? I haven't been a Dead fan. I probably know like six or seven other songs probably, right? Yeah, well, that's, I, that's you, so you like them. That's a pretty good amount. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I like them. My brother is a... a Huge Grateful Dead fan, but he didn't want to maybe see Dead and Co because he didn't want to spoil like, you know, he's like a Jerry, you know, he's like he he, he was a, yeah he liked Jerry right and so but um he wanted to go he lives in by Mount Zion so we met over there and I wanted to go we and we wanted to do something together and um yeah I think I love that they have so much art there's so many little things you know about the Grateful Dead uh that since they have a lot of cool and unique art and stuff, they're able to make a lot of neat stuff to put into the visuals, yeah. right? Yeah. Whereas if you were a band, if you're like, um, you know, Guar maybe or something, or um, Sine- uh, um, Sinead O'Connor, Sinead O'Connor, mm-hmm. uh, Joe Josh Siwa or somebody, you're not, I don't know if you're going to be able to f- fill that space with enough intrigue, you know? Right. And history. And history, right. Right. It almost you almost need something that's a bit historical, maybe, or something that's extremely artistic. Like a group that has a lot of ambiance that comes with it. Um, right. You can't do a solo artist would be a little hard there unless they have such a rich story to tell. Right, like a Michael Bublé or something, you know, I don't know, but if it were just Christmas and they were able to make really cool Christmas shit in there, then uh, that's yeah, a maybe. way to do yeah, it. Yeah, Booby at Christmas would be nice though. Yeah. He is really talented, that guy. People love him at Christmas. No, Rest I think, of the year, whatever. Well, yeah, no, I don't need him. I don't I don't really don't need him. Yeah, Boob later, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's pretty bad. Um, but what else did I think? I, I thought it was amazing how like well, there's like these things in the seats called like haptics or whatever. And so sometimes your seat will move, right? So yeah. some of the seats, I think like 10,000 of the seats. Uh, they have haptics. Yeah. Right. And they, and you know, so they'll have like an, a reaction or, uh, so that's kind of crazy. I thought it was interesting how sometimes, um, well, you get there right in the beginning and it just looks like a, a futuristic, like kind of cage or something you're yeah. in. Yeah. Like you a, can, ba- like a inner workings of a machine yeah it's not just like you're looking at a screen it looks right. like um robot guts yeah or like inside of a video game yeah some like video game you went into like a space world or something mm-hmm. and then it all kind of starts to happen and they don't give you everything at once they don't show you all their tricks at once no they they roll it out slow that's a great shot wow <clears throat> that was you too probably i bet because that wasn't uh that what's wild about it is they give it so much dimension you know, through through uh, through tricks of the of the LEDs, and it really is kind of mind boggling. Gets people, I guess, people get really dizzy. 
Like some people get, they have to take them out of there because they get so dizzy from the the movement. Because the movement is crazy. It physically, like, it moves so heavily that I think people get disoriented. Yeah. Oh, there's times where like the way that they do, it, you're like, you feel like the whole thing is moving through space or time. Like you're yeah. the entire venue. It feels like you're moving with it. Yeah. Yeah. I think they said people with like, uh, kind of like, like same thing with strobes, like people that have heart problems or high blood pressure. Epileptics or something. Epileptics. Maybe? Or if you're French Canadian, you're not supposed to go there because it's dangerous oh, for those kind yeah. of people, you know? And that's, it's just a historical unfortunate truth you get they get sick easier fuck yeah it's sad but it was a beautiful time man it was a beautiful time i enjoyed it so much and it was long and like you really kind of get a story and i yeah. loved it and i thought what was really cool too at the at the dead show was like if you went down to the street if you went down to just the stage where the stage is mm -hmm. and if there was nothing on the back and nothing on the screen the stage only had a few lights on it. It literally looked like you were at a backyard concert. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's it's like it's so minimalistic and then so yes. grand at the exact same time. I yeah, mean, it's the really stage, beautiful. It it had like five lights behind the guys or six. Like I mean, small small lights. Uh, and I, then oh, that's you too. That's you too. Yeah. And then it had a very uh, and so if the screen was off, it literally looked like you were at a backyard show. Yeah. Like a, somebody's, like a band was playing in somebody's backyard. Um, I woke, I but yeah, I would totally recommend it. I heard somebody refer to themselves as a spearhead after the like, I'll never see a show anywhere else now. I'm a spearhead. It's pretty limiting. Yeah, definitely limiting, but it was interesting. I'd never heard, it was like, I'd never thought like, I'll only see a show at a certain venue. Mm, yeah, dedicating to a venue is tough. Yeah. Because you're only going to get what you're going to get. Right. But it, I mean, you know, that's kind of life, isn't it? You're going to get what you're going to get. Yeah. So if you become a spearhead, you might as well soak it up. Yeah. Yeah, I, but um, what else? Yeah, what does this crane say? The fourth largest crawler crane in the world. Wow. That's the crane. Eight, a 580-foot tall crane. Man, imagine being Sarens. It's made by a company called Sarens. Imagine being David Sarens. Mm. That's your crane. Wow. What does your family do? We're crane guys. Oh, big money. We're crane guys. Have you ever seen the Costco guys? Have you ever seen these two kids? Uh-uh. The son and his dad? We're Costco guys. They go to Costco and they just eat stuff and they review it. Oh. Yeah, the world is burning. Uh, you know, the Statue of Liberty can fit inside of the sphere. Wow. And the sphere is interesting because right when you walk in, it does feel, the whole thing feels like a presentation kind of, you know? Oh, yeah. Like even the, the, in, the original interior is so neat. You're like, you don't just walk right into the... Vi like venue kind of you know you walk into like like a normal venue would be like this other you know like the hallways and stuff and the 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 four uh yeah wow 2.2 .2 billion just to, i mean yeah let's look at the statue of liberty look at the little tiny girl yeah i'm glad we both went to this it was amazing man one of the best shows and if you have a chance you know i don't know when this comes out but it, they only got a couple weeks left of uh the tour i think they end Second week of August or something like that. They they don't have much left. Yeah, I think they're on break for a little bit, and then they have one more week in uh, in Vegas. I think. Yeah, back, yeah, they do a couple back to backs, and then it's, and then, inside tip, if you are a Dead and Company fan or a Dead fan at all, the rumor is that it this there is no plans to do it again. So who knows? This could be one wow. of the last times. I mean, who knows? Might not be. Might be. Yeah, August. There you go. That second week of August, and then that th that's it, baby. That's crazy. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. She gone. She gone. She gone.